I remember when I first signed on loan and they took me through to the through the museum and uh and you're just seeing like you know, all the Champions Leagues, all the Serie A titles, all the Coppa Italias, all the Ballon d'Ors, you see all these players, all the teams that have played and you're thinking, whoa, like this is this is serious. And you know, I grew up when, you know, there was Kaká, there was Crespo, Seydorf, Maldini, the, all these players playing playing for Milan and then I remember the first time I went to the San Siro and even though there was no one in there, you could, you're still still looking around thinking, whoa, like this is the San, this is what I, you know, I play on the PlayStation kind of thing. And now I'm 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 here now to say like yeah this is the stadium that's my home stadium kind of thing yeah that's that's when it really really hit me like well um, I'm playing for Milan right now AC Milan so yeah that was um, those are probably the moments that I thought yeah this is this is something different when I came here it was actually during COVID so you know I couldn't really go out and see the city or do much I was very it was very you know focused on you know kind of okay finish training go home training home training home game I mean I'm, I'm homebody anyway so I can kind of it wasn't too hard for me I wasn't really going crazy but um, my, my teammates the manager everyone they made me feel really really welcome you know ever since I was probably about 15 16 I was used to, I was used to playing you know most games after being at Chelsea for for that that season and the second half of that season I wasn't playing as much and yeah mentally it was difficult yeah the thought process was mostly you know just try and get back playing I wanted to get back on the pitch and play and I knew the qualities I could offer to the team um, I know the qualities I have in myself yeah it was just about you know, when I got the chance to play, making sure I gave my all. When I arrived, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I never played in a different country. I'd only been to Italy one time. And then, um, you know, as the months were going by, as the games were going, going by, um, I just felt more and more comfortable. Um, and then uh, we qualified for the Champions League on the last day of the 2020, 2021 season, I think it was, when I moved here. And um, yeah, I think once we, once we qualified, in my head, I was kind of like, okay, well, I feel like I'm going to, stay here I wanted to stay um yeah it was it was it was a different sort of feeling because you know now I realize oh, I'm actually you know going to be living in Milan this is my new home everything like that um but yeah I was really 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 um comfortable and confident in my decision and then um yeah obviously up until now it's, uh, it's paid off when I came there weren't really too many English speakers in the team so um I, I, I really had to learn um I didn't understand any Italian I couldn't speak any Italian but I was really I was really keen to learn I think again it was a lot easier for me because I came here during COVID so I could, after training I have a lesson, even speaking with the manager, the staff, you know, on the pitch, being able to, to speak Italian with, with the team or if you're doing an interview, being able to speak Italian, I think, you know, those kind of things, I think people, I think they appreciate the fact that I was learning and then um, through that, I was just became more comfortable and um, it became home to me a lot quicker. I wouldn't say there've been many real challenges. Obviously there's been isolated moments where you know, maybe, as I said, I haven't played well in a game or the team hasn't won a game or whatever it may be. But generally speaking, it's, it's kind of been uh, a, a good a good journey so far. Um, you know, the, the fans are amazing, the kind of culture, everything is different to London. It's a lot, the life is a lot slower and, um, you know, they're, they're, they're crazy about football here. So, um, yeah, those kind of things just make it a lot easier to settle in and to, and to enjoy life. I mean, the thing for me that really made me know that it was like, okay, this is this is different to England is when I think we played um, Juventus. The, obviously, the stadiums were empty. You couldn't have too many people grouping into one space. Um, but the fans all came to the training ground. Just um, before you travelled to Juventus and, you know, they had flares and, you know, they, they had banners and everything. It was, it was crazy. And that was the first time I'd ever experienced anything or seen anything like it. And they're banging on the bus. And I just thought, okay, this is... You, this this doesn't happen in England kind of thing. I remember thinking, I feel like we can win the Skiddo from the teams that I'd, the teams that I'd played in that, that first six months loan spell. I felt like we could win it. As the season was going on, we, we believed more and more that we could do it, and you, know, you could feel it like around the city that you know we could do it, and a lot of people felt that we could do it. And um, yeah, once once we we played in a Sassuolo and we won, and like all the fans like ran on the pitch. It was just kind of like it was it was a surreal moment. It's not I won't say out of body experience, but it's just kind of like when you look back, when you think back it and you step out from yourself and you just think, well, like there was just so much going on and you know the, the fans were so like they were so happy, you could literally see like they were so happy in their faces and you know the stuff they were saying to all the players and you know the way that they supported the team, it was just it was amazing. And then I remember when we got back to Milan from Sassuolo and you could see like you know all the fans there outside Casamila and there's I don't know, maybe 10 to 15,000 people there already at like 2 a.m. and that was that was crazy and you know I think 
after I think it was 11 years since Milan won the Skiddo. So for us to, to be the team to achieve that, um, yeah, well, it was crazy. And obviously when we won the Skiddo, you could see again, you know, when we had the parade through Milan, I can't remember how, how long we, I think it was about five kilometers from Casa Milan to the Duomo. That's 10, 15 minute drive. And it took us about five hours just because there were so many people in the roads. You, you don't really see those kind of things in England. Um, you know, the, the passion and the, and the raw just emotion from, from the fans is, is crazy. When I first got here and then Tammy signed six months after and he told me, he called me, asked me, how's it, what's, what's Italy like? I was kind of like, why are you asking me? <laughs> and he's kind of, yeah, I might move to Italy. I might move to Rome. And at that point I just said, yeah, like, I think you should do it, it's something different. You're gonna, it's such a different kind of life to, to England, a different style of football, obviously a different language, everything like that. And it's just, you're gonna learn so much more. There's, the league is so competitive, so you're gonna improve as a player. And yeah, even when, you know, I'll go to the England national team, you know, people would ask me, you know, what's Italy like? You know, what's the food like? What's the culture like? What's the football, everything. So um, I'm just kind of, um, I guess I can say a reference to some people just to kind of ask them just to see how it's all going. I think it's just the, the speed of life is very different from London to Milan. Um, you know, London is very fast and um, the people are, I feel like people is rushing around in London. But then you come to Milan and like, if you go in the dorm and if, or around the dorm, around the centre, everyone's just kind of, just kind of flowing with life and just, just chilling out and walking really slow. And it's not really like a, a rush, rush kind of attitude. Everything's just kind of calm. Yeah, so I'd say that's probably the big difference. Now, I've said it a few times, you know, before I came, I never used to drink coffee, but now I drink coffee. So, you know, th those, kind, those kind of things where, you know, life is just, it's just a different, different thing. When you're growing up in England, you're playing in the Premier League, obviously that's nice, but you know, sometimes you can just, your vision can just be like that. But then suddenly I came to Italy and suddenly I'm seeing football like this. And, um, you know, there's little, little things that, you know, I'd never heard about in terms of football. I, you know, maybe you should put your position like this or, when this is happening, you should do this. And I'm just kind of like, oh, I never ever thought about that or no one's ever told me that. So, you know, those, the, just those kind of different opinions and having people see the game in a different way um, and just trying to adapt that and add that to your game um, is definitely something that I think a lot of players um, should do. And um, you see a lot of players have done and starting to do as well. I think now we're in a period in Milan where we can really write some history in the club which isn't easy, but I think that we're, we're on the right track to doing so. I'm very, very comfortable, happy here. Yeah, I've just kind of been, you know, all about working hard and um, you know, trying to do what I can for myself, get the best out of myself as much as possible. Obviously, there's been challenges and there's been um, difficult moments. Yeah, I think at the moment I can say I'm happy where I am. Everything's going well. And yeah, life, life's good.